Salov said that the terrain is very steep and dry in parts, and trees infested with the bark beetle burn ablaze and fall down uncontrollably, which is dangerous for firefighters. The main problem, however, is the long way of the water to the fire. The terrain is very rough, plus the drought, heat, and the freshening wind, which dictates the direction of the fire. The priority now is to save buildings at Prebister and the town of Atrensko, Aaron Squares, hiking trails and buildings in the fire region have been evacuated, Salab said. The forest fire broke out on Sunday morning on the Czech side of the National Park near Atrensko near the Prebister. As the National Park Administration announced, the extinguishing work was hampered by the difficult-to-access area. The fire spread over an area of around three hectares. The extinguishing work had to be interrupted on Sunday at nightfall because of the dangerous terrain. The flames continued to spread during the night. The forest fire caused a high level of fine dust pollution, which was also measurable in Saxony. According to the State Environment Agency, it was around 3.6 micrograms of soot per cubic meter of air in the south of Dresden on Monday morning, three times as much as usual. During the night, the wind had blown soot particles through the Elbe Valley to Dresden. An intense smell of burning could then be smelled as far away as Dresden and Mason. Because the wind had shifted, the smoke drifted through the Elbe Valley and side valleys. In the morning, the Dresden Regional Control Center and local fire brigades informed, there is no danger to the population. After the wind changed direction at midday, the distinct smell of burning also spread to the district of Botson in the afternoon. Late on Monday evening, residents reported to MDR Sachin that they again noticed the smell of burning in Dresden and Rabiel.